Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Isn't it glorious outside? Yes. Yeah. I deliberately had a very early breakfast, so I had an excuse to sit outside and wait for my bride. And there were three sparrows that were having a conversation. And they were talking to each other. And I felt like I was at a concert. It was so beautiful. Oh my goodness, how elegant. I don't know if I can handle it. I'm really there. This is my first time here. And I'm very impressed. I love the feeling. I remember when I walked into St. James in Manhattan and I said, I don't believe this is real because it just hit my heart. And that's what this is doing. And so I'm very grateful to all of us for working so hard for so long to make this happen. And with Joanne's leadership, it was bound to happen. <laughs> We're going to start our service with an ancient tradition, which is asking our elders to bless us before we begin. Elders blessing, huh? Yeah, <laughs>
hair. That's all she said. And if she said it, I wanted it. So I went to this convention, a three-day convention, in the heart of Manhattan, and she took us on a journey with the sound of crystals in the background, and just her, all by herself. She's the kind of person, and you know some like that, that when she stands still, it looks like she's dancing. Anyway, she took us on a journey to meet our guides. And the reason I'm telling you this story is because one of my guides turned out to be Sarah. At least that was her name, and that's what she told me. And the other one was Mary. And I've been a devotee of Mary's ever since, because she is truly my guide. So that when my sons died, I turned to Mary and I said, how did you do it? Because she lost a son. First he was her son. And she knew the heartbreak of a mother losing a son. And she just took me in her arms and she said, by turning your pain over to the Father. And so every morning, that's what I do. Because every morning I feel my pain. But also every morning I feel the joy of having Mary as my guide and the joy of having God as my first love. It makes a difference. Try it, you'll see. Good morning. Good morning. Even the rain is good. Yeah. I looked out the window, I saw rain, and went, ugh. Yeah. And then I said, if you've ever been in California, during one of their times of no rain, it's like everything is tan and brown. And we look out at our windows, and even in this time of year, things are green. It's just so marvelous. It's a true God's blessing. Rain is a good thing. I'm going to take a minute. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm going to take a minute just to look at you. You have no idea how my heart is filled with gratitude to see you all. A hospital is not a very healthy place for sick people. <laughs> I got rules for them. <laughs> you don't get well there. That's right. We get well in places like this. Amen. This gets Amen. us well. They think they're big shots. I got news for them. But I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I wonder if anybody could be happier than I am to be here. <laughs> it's just pure joy to celebrate. I'm wearing red because in China, when you celebrate something, you wear red. And I picked up that habit when I was there, and I love it, and so I have a red shirt because I am with Joanne and, and a sense of celebration with God as our witness. So thank you all for being here. And we thank God for this gathering together. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for everything. It's uh, incredibly, talk about miracles. Mm -hmm. You're looking at one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like a miracle. You are. You are. And it, it's an amazing feeling. And blessings on all of you.